Do you know that an object that moves in a circular motion like this flies off to a straight direction when you let it go? Do you know why? It is because the object moves at the direction of the tangent to the curve. Likewise, if we are traveling in a car around a corner and we drive over something slippery on the road and our car starts to skip, it will continue in a direction tangent to the curve. What if the equation of the curve formed by the skidding car is f of x equals 3x squared at point 1,3? Then what is the equation of the line tangent to that curve? To determine the equation of the line tangent to that curve, let's follow these steps. First, differentiate the equation of the curve. When we say differentiation, it is the process of finding the derivative of a function. Get the first derivative of f of x equals 3x squared using the power rule. In using the power rule, multiply the exponent by the coefficient. As a result, we have 2 times 3x squared. Then subtract 1 from the exponent. The derivative of this function is dy over dx equals 6x. Second, to find the gradient or the slope, substitute the given point 1, 3 into the differentiated equation dy over dx equals 6x. From the given point 1, 3, the value of x is equal to 1. So it becomes dy over dx equals 6 multiplied by 1. Therefore, the slope of the line is equal to 6. For the last step, find the equation of the tangent line using the slope intercept form y equals mx plus c. Substitute the values of x, y, and the slope to find the value of c. 3 equals 6 multiplied by 1 plus c becomes 3 equals 6 plus c. Using addition property of equality, c is equal to negative 3. Then substitute the values of the slope and c to the equation y equals mx plus c. Therefore, it yields to y equals 6x minus 3. And this is it. The equation of the line to the curve f of x equals 3x squared at point 1, 3 is y equals 6x minus 3. And that is how we find the equation of a line tangent to the curve. This is very useful as it can prevent accidents on the road. Just do not purposely skid though. <laughs> In addition, this can also generate exact same patterns referred as alpine function and make stable and balanced architectural curves, balance a swing, or even estimate a steep road or a cliff. I hope you find this lesson fascinating and mathematical. Thank you for watching.